keep this video short and simple. First, I want to say wholeness, abundance, love and light to everyone out there. Hope y'all enjoying your day. Hope you remembering you blessed so you're not stressing. Nothing's taking away from your energy. I hope you're spending, I don't hope, I trust that you're spending enough time in nature, getting what you need from it, remembering what you got to do because it's not about how long you take, it's about how much time you waste and you really don't want to be wasting any of, it, any of it, unless maybe that's your dream, maybe that's what you came to do. You know, I'm here at my Babylon job, take care of this child with autism, behind the scenes, with approval of his mother, I'm healing him as well. I'm detoxing him. Um, he's been doing much better. His mood swings have been going down. He's been much happier. <laughs> Definitely losing weight. Um, you can say he's overall healthier. He he didn't know how to pull up his own diaper until I came in. Um, I'm not gonna speak about who he is. That's nobody's business other than the fact that he's a human being like all of us who because of lack of knowledge his parents did not take care of their vessels the way they should have created him while they were not harmonized while they were unbalanced while they were toxic they had toxins in their own body created him and he was made not with just the normal natural building blocks that go through when you create life inside of a woman, but he also got the toxins as well since inception. And so on top of that, he was born, went through the whole nine for the GMO, GMO zombie program. That's what I call when people go through this uh, system matrix without question. Um, they're really, it's just GMO zombies. We already are in a zombie apocalypse and it's GMOs. It's in the, it's in the camp trails, it's in the vaccines and long, um, going back to, to him, you know, he was born and went through all that, got the vaccines from birth that, you know, when he was growing, however they were, the doctors recommended it, you know, the parents just listened, they didn't question and, you know, on top of that, his diet. On top of that, his drinks, you know, he didn't get any high quality drinks. You know, it's been acidic water, it's been juice with added sugars, fake sugars, you know, and, and metals and all that. And it's disrupted his body, it's disrupted his own immune system, it's disrupted everything. You can just tell, you know what I'm saying, just, just looking, you know. And, but it's a miracle because he can still find happiness, he can still enjoy himself at the same time. You know, he don't know what it would be without it. So if he did and then went into this disruptive mode that his body's in, then he might be, you know, much more sad. But regardless of that, I came in when I did and he's been getting better. Um, and now the reason I bring him up, it's not about me. It's not really about him, but it's about, you know, what he went through is something that all of us go through. Every single thing. We all go usually through the same school system, all, all us the usual same systems and get recommended about all the same things. And these are not designed by people who have mentally graduated to a place of peace and paradise. You know what I'm saying? Which is what everyone wants to be lit. These people created this to remain people working so that they invest in this system circulated by paper money and it keeps these people that run that it keeps them in paradise while you continue investing them that's what keeps them running um so they have to always push that uh, they always have to put that cash rules everything around me you know and move money is everywhere that's where they're in the music business they're in almost every business and when i say they i'm talking about uh, really a, a mental state, a uh, uh, disease mental state where there's this superiority um, because they have higher knowledge of, of how the human works, how the psychology works, how the spirit works and they go towards people who they see have talent and have a lot of light and exploit them and you know a lot of those people become artists but you can hear it in their music, They're, a lot of them aren't free you know, under control 
when they do get freed, you know, things start to happen. You know, a lot of them have been killed and, you know, I don't need to talk about Michael Jackson. I don't need to talk about Prince. I don't need to talk about Tupac. I don't need to talk about anybody. You know what I'm saying? With a chemtrail right up there. I don't need to talk about any of that. What I need to talk about is you. And I'm going to talk about you as if I'm talking to myself because at the end of the day, I can only give you my perspective. And here's, here's my point of why I bring up everything. We are in a war. It's a spiritual war. It has been ongoing for more years than you can count. And it's essentially really the, the whole cliche light and versus dark. Light being knowledge, wisdom applied with love. Dark being either lack of knowledge or you can have knowledge and wisdom of, of light and how to reach paradise. But you're consciously picking to keep that suppressed within you so that you can keep it for yourself and manipulate other people. That's dark. Um, that's just like a false light dark. That's what they call false prophet or... Um, um, false prophet or something with, with the word light where they act like they're from the light but they're not they're just using the light as an illusion and behind the scenes they have their own agenda which tends to be very negative or at least very negative for you um for the victim and so this leaves us with what side are you on when it comes to this war because a lot of people innately Intentionally, all of us really want to be on the light because we all all light. Darkness is light in itself. Trying to act like it's not light, but even dark is is a shade of light. Um, and it's all the same. We're all one. We're all God. So knowing this, what side are you on? Because n knowing that you're God, love and light and all that's not enough. You what do you what karma are you are you creating? Because karma means action. So what actions are you taking? What are you doing? about this knowledge that you have are you sharing it are you learning like oh my god it's true and then you just apply it to yourself you might you know what i'm saying you 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 apply it to yourself and you embody it but you might forget it sometimes because you're not sharing it because you're not talking about it because when you surround yourself with the original or your quote normal group of friends they aren't on the same wavelength so you know that it's not cool, it'd be weird to bring them up, you don't know if they're ready, so you don't bring it up. Mm -hmm. So now this new light you found, you suppress, which now gets dimmed. And doing that, you know, you're, you might think that you're in the bench seat, that you're, you know, sitting fence, um, but you're really supporting the dark. Because when you receive this light, one of the first things you realize is that this light is what's missing and the reason why there's a lack of compassion, empathy, and is the reason for all the problems, really. At, at the core of the root is this lack of light, which ends up being just knowledge of all these different things. But in order for a human to acquire this knowledge of different things, of how it really works, of truth, they need to first do a couple of things. That's one, love themselves, which is usually how people start usually how people start waking up they love themselves um and that's really the beginning because if you don't love yourself it's like the ultimate block you can have to all your blessings it's like you don't even feel like you deserve this so you never you know your body naturally whether subconsciously or consciously you take the steps to 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 get to your higher self to your higher place to your dream you know what i'm saying to your divine palace heaven whatever it is to you 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 have an ideal place you're going for if you listen listening to me is because you trying to find more light and which is everything you need to reach your kingdom whatever that is for you um when i well, what i'm talking about is going to lead you to some type of paradise and it's going to be harmonious it's going to be divine i don't know if it'll be by the beach it might be you know by the jungle it might be by the woods it, you know everyone's has their different view but at the end for it to be paradise we all have to be in harmony and that includes all races not just humans um all animals but we are animals too so when i say races i do not mean black white asian you know african uh, polish german puerto rican cuban I don't mean that. I mean human, 
I mean felines, I mean canines, I mean bears, I mean dolphins, I mean, you know, koala, sloth, those are different races within the animal kingdom, which we belong to, we are the kings and queens of that, I've already explained that, and so, you know, people don't love themselves, they don't even, they can't even find the light, that's, that's where the light starts, you have to usually detox some people go usually go through something stressful that causes uh, forces them to either make a change or let the stress get to them which they either die or get very sick to or they're near death um but basically a push like that where they're like okay i either gotta counter this or i'm done for and they counter and they start detoxing they start cleansing which then starts the healing um and when they start healing, now they, they have more clarity in their mind because they might have finally forgiven something, might have finally just let go, whatever it is. They finally are cleansed from it, and now they have clarity. There's no more cloudiness because it was cleansed, whatever it was. And now that you have that clarity, usually you start heading towards that path. You start vibing with more people near that. You start hearing more, peeping more about the things that you want to be around about the things that get you out of where you are and you also start to notice all the things that you used to fall for that creates all this unbalance and you start seeing it in other people and how they a lot of them create it for themselves um and a lot of ways of how a lack of contribution can make it worse or contribute contributing in the wrong way can make it worse right so it's cool i see a lot of people out there a lot of conscious quote conscious people you know, repping love and light, posting mad pictures of nature and all that. Um, you know, and talking about they're spiritual, but, you know, demons are spiritual, right? You can be very negative and be very spiritual. It really doesn't mean shit to be spiritual because everything is spirit. So uh, you ain't telling me anything new. So what you want to be looking out for is how are you handling your spirit and what are you doing with all your spirit, energy, and knowledge? Are you using it? to create more light, more good, and set free? Or are you using it to for your own agenda? And maybe hurting others? And maybe rippling? And you know what I'm saying? You're like, okay, how did I find this out? But I'm not getting better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might not be using it properly. You know what I'm saying? You might be abusing it. And you're going to see this. This is going to bite you in the ass. You might be able to manipulate so much where you can get shit to benefit you just because you don't give a fuck that you're hurting others but that even that you know that that's what people like you know the rockefeller and rothschild and all those all those grandfathers that did all that fox all that fuck shit and all all, all that at the cost of others and my and it gained them so much and they thought it was lit, you know what I'm saying? They had it for set for the whole family. And you trust me, they have a lot of chaos in their personal lives that they don't talk about because of what they've done. And they're going to start hiding, picking themselves off, killing themselves with something or changing or, or, or trying to find forgiveness. And that's going to be up to the collective. But long story short, you abuse this spirit, energy, this knowledge, and it's going to bite you in the ass. And if you do nothing with it, it's the same as doing it's not not the same but you're basically on the on the same side of of darkness and when i say darkness i mean the negative type of darkness because like i said there's dark beings who act like they're light and use light to attract and they're really dark and you know i know dark beings who went through dark shit but have always had that inner light within them that they stay strong and even though they might not be the most outgoing and ex and expressive people they're always there for others and they always try to stay positive for others in the very least um and you know they all have their own cleansing and healing too but you can be dark like dark is just because something's dark it doesn't make it evil just because something's light doesn't make it good it has nothing to do Light and dark have nothing to do with good and evil. It's how you use. We both, we all have both. It's a yin yang. It's how you use them. So what you gotta be asking yourself is how are you applying everything you know, and are you repping heaven? You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's what it is. Cause you learn what well, the light comes from heaven. And that's what that's the knowledge that you got. So are you repping it? You know what I'm saying? Is that is it 
or are you just, you know, giving the vibe that you know, but keeping it to yourself, you know what I'm saying, and just keeping it to yourself just so you lit always, and, and you're not spreading it, because, you know, if you're suffering, or it's not going at the momentum you feel like it could be, and you're not doing that, you know, try that, try that, because you'll be surprised what, not just knowing the knowledge, but applying it, embodying it, and spreading it, which is the whole point, that's the whole, that's the whole war, is them suppressing this, and us freeing it, so are you freeing it, because if you ain't, then you ain't on, you ain't on our side, you ain't on the side of nature, and that's what you gotta ask yourself every day, and with every choice you make, is this for nature, or is this for something personal, is this for something not and if so is it actually even hurting nature and that's it guys i hope i trust y'all staying divine y'all staying true love and light it's not about how long you take so how about how it's about how much time you waste i'm here to remind you not to waste any of it all right stay you can still stay lit love and light